very good afternoon to you. Hello, I do hope you are all keeping very well indeed. Welcome to Virtual Church. You are all very welcome indeed. It's wonderful to be here once again on this um, Sunday afternoon as it is, is here in the UK. I do hope you are all well. Um, please do all say hello in the chat so we know who we have listening and watching and uh, it's a wonderful way to get to know people as well. If you are um, new today, please do introduce yourself. We are a, a very friendly group of people. Um, please do say uh, where you're from. That's really wonderful to know as well. That was Lord enthroned in heavenly splendor, first begotten from the dead, and was requested by uh, one of our patrons, Julian. Thank you very much, Julian. It's a great way to open the show today. Before that, we had a beautiful little piece by Hubert Parry, um, which opens the, a wonderful volume called A Little Organ Book in Memory of Hubert Parry. Uh, the first piece in the volume actually is by Parry himself, um, and actually all of the subsequent pieces are by um, contemporary posers uh, of Parry, so that would be mid, sort of mid 20th century. I thought, I thought that was a beautiful reflective way to start the, um, the, 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 um, the, the, the church today, followed by the rousing, uplifting hymn. We will go now into the second hymn, which is, O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. The tune is obviously St. Anne. We've had this a few times on the, on the uh, channel, this, this wonderful hymn, um, and has been requested by Pete. Pete is also one of our patrons, so thank you very much, Pete. So this is, O oh God, our help in ages past. Oh God, I help in ages past. Thank you very much, um, uh, Pete, for requesting that. This is now, um, to thee, O Lord, our hearts we raise in hymns of adoration. Um, 
the terrific tune called Golden Sheaves. I would just like to dedicate this uh, virtual church to a, uh, a friend who unfortunately passed away this weekend. Um, she was a soprano in one of my choirs and I have worked with her for a few years. She is a, a very distinguished conductor um, and musician in the in, around Hampshire um, and, and unfortunately she passed away this weekend um, so my thoughts and prayers are for her and for her family and if you can just bear her in mind through this virtual church that would be wonderful so this uh, virtual church will be dedicated to Liz Packenham so to thee O Lord our hearts we raise in hymns of adoration to the tune Golden Sheaves, as requested by Gerda, one of our patrons who is very good at photography. <laughs> wonderful hymn that's thank you very much it's a wonderful tune golden sheaves I really enjoy playing that another wonderful tune which obviously um, sums up the feeling of Easter is the strife is o'er, the battle won now is the victors triumph won oh let the song of praise be sung alleluia uh, this has come in from Jay who is one of our patrons 
um, and this is it also in memory of a, a congregation member who who um, who passed away. So Javis is for you, and this is in memory of your fellow um, comrade in your congregation. The strife is or the battle won. Easter doesn't really come much better than that one, does it? It's fantastic. Wonderful to play and wonderfully uplifting to sing. <laughs> now, come Holy Ghost, come down upon thy children, give us grace and make us thine. Thy tender fires within, within, uh, with, with, sorry, uh, thy tender fires within us kindle. I wasn't expecting that. Blessed Spirit, heavenly, uh, Blessed Spirit, Dove Divine. And then verse 2. So that, that looks like that's uh, verse 1 only, and then the verses are all different from that. So I make sure, need to make sure that I'm not playing the wrong verse. Hank, um, one of our patrons, thank you very much for requesting this. Hopefully I'll get it, uh, all the um, music in the right order for you. So, come Holy Ghost, come down, no, there's no come at the beginning. <laughs> Holy Ghost, come down upon thy children. That wasn't too hard, was it? Read what's on the page, it might help.
Thank you very much, Hank, and I apologise if all of that was in the wrong order. It felt like it, you know, I don't know this at all, and there aren't many, uh, many instructions on the page, so I don't know whether the first section was the refrain that needed to be repeated, but it was interesting how the verse ended in the dominant key, D major, we were in G major and ended in D major, which suggested to me that it wanted to go back to the very beginning of the refrain, which is in G major. So hopefully that was okay for you. I didn't play all the verses because I, I wasn't sure whether I was doing it right. Um, there were pro probably only one or two more verses to go. But thank you very much, Hank. A beautiful tune um, by Gustav Holst. I didn't know it at all, and it's really rather beautiful. So thank you very much for bringing that to our attention. I'm just going to very briefly just play an organ piece. This is an arrangement of Brother James's air um, here, arranged by um, Searle Wright. You know the tune, it's um, The Lord's My Shepherd, that's Brother James at air. A beautiful uh, melody, and I'll see if I can play it. Hopefully I can. So I'd like to play um, a variety today. I'd like to play organ music and hymns. So any, any, if you have any requests for him for organ music, please do send them through. So Brother James, a prelude on Brother James's air by Searle Wright.
Well, I hope you all recognise the wonderful the air, the tune on the top of that. A really wonderful folk song. And if that's what it is, I think it might be. The next hymn is uh, Christ has made the sure foundation and the precious, precious cornerstone to the tune Westminster Abbey. It's been requested by uh, Mitchell and uh, St Vincent's down in um, Mexico. One of my favourites is so five verses um, all be <laughs> all be upstanding for this re um, you know really happy and festal hymn. It is by the way from the anthem by Purcell, O God thou art my God.
What a terrific hymn that one is. The tune is called Westminster Abbey and is by Purcell. It is an arrangement um, of the um, O oh God, Thou Art My God, the final few pages where the choir sing Alleluia, Alleluia, or Hallelujah, should I say, over and over again. And it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Okay, let's push on. This is um, a new hymn book. Well, it's actually an old hymn book, but it has arrived in the post from one of our um, subscribers and a member of the congregation who is with us today. So thank you very much indeed for sending it through. And it's the first time we're actually going to use it. Um, the hymn is called Despair Not, O Heart, In Thy Sorrow. From God's own um, assurances borrow the promise that Jesus has given that life has in death its beginning. There are four verses and it's not one that I know at all. It's, it's actually a, a, a Lutheran hymn. It's by Martin Luther um, and it says to be sung with confidence. So I'll try to play it with confidence. Thank you very much, uh, Terry, for sending both the uh, both hymn books through and for making this request. So despair not, O heart, in thy sorrow. Thank you very much, Terry. Indeed, that's a really wonderful hymn. I think all of these hymns from this period, these Lutheran hymns, you can't go wrong with them, can you? They're just wonderful. They are dignified. Harmony is, as you'd expect, um, really strong, you know, uh, hymns. And it does say, with confidence. And I, I know what it means when it says, with confidence. It means a more, sort of a slower tempo, a more um, broad tempo, I think. So thank you very much. The um, first part of this hymn book actually it has all it has all of the psalms in it. It has various services, uh, collects, canticles, litany, um, and uh, and various bits for the, uh, the for the for the Eucharist. So mass settings, um, the Orbis Factor here, and I'm sure other bits of plain song as well. There's a bit of Healy Willen, which I'm learning. Um, so thank you very much, Terry. It's very very kind of you. 
the next hymn is called In Your Mercy, Lord, You Called Me. And it actually comes from another hymn book which was sent in from another um, very, very generous patron. So uh, Terry was a patron as well. We are, by the way, at 195 patrons, and that is just so wonderful to have that much support from you guys. 195, it wasn't long ago that I remember thinking, wouldn't, wouldn't it be incredible if we can get to 100 patrons, 100 supporters of the channel, and we are just inches away from having 200 supporters. Amazing, that really blows my mind, actually. We've come a long way. We've come a very long way indeed, and we, I, I wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do this without you. So, another Patreon, um, Lydia, has requested this hymn here. It is, I'll say it again, In your mercy, Lord, you called me, taught my um, sin-filled, sin-filled heart and mind, else this world had still enthralled me, and to glory kept me blind. Okay, so three verses of this, and they look fairly short, so I will play this at a, that, that broad tempo again. A really well-known tune, um, just not familiar words. So thank you for that. Thank you very much for that, Lydia. Next hymn is um, the Church's one foundation is Jesus Christ, her Lord. She is His new creation by water and the Word. This is obviously um, to the tune Aurelia. We've had this a few times. It's one of my favourite tunes. It's also one of my favourite um, texts as well. Beautiful the music is by Samuel Sebastian Wesley, and the text is actually by Samuel John Stone.
Well, thank you very much, Christine, for allowing me to uh, play that one. The reason I'm just having to go up here occasionally is I'm just having to make a little adjustment to my to my Wi-Fi. Um, oh, it's a bit fiddly. There we go. Sorry, this is very unprofessional. There we go. So, Christine, thank you very much for requesting that. That's very um, a great hymn. Great hymn. Thank you very much. Next hymn in our virtual church today is Sing We of the Blessed Mother who received the angel's word and obedient to his summons bore in love for the infant Lord. The tune is called Abbot's Lay um, by Cyril Taylor. Uh, this has been requested by Duncan. Uh, thank you very much, Duncan. And uh, Diego as well. Diego is a, a patron. There's Mother's Day in Argentina. So if there are any, well, to all mothers, um, on behalf of the Argentinians, happy Mother's Day. This one's going to be a mother soon. <laughs> so I'll be sending her out. Oh, that's another card I mustn't forget to buy every year. A Mother's Day card. <laughs> Sing we of the blessed mother who received the angel's word for Mother's Day.
just going to take a very quick breather from hymns for a moment and we're just going to have some wonderful Handel. This comes um, from the water music and it is, it's called Air. You all know this, I'm sure. Uh, so if you want to go and get a drink or just want to just chill out for a minute, save your voices, um, I'm just going to play this Air which will last about two minutes long. I just need to fiddle again with my um, device up here. Something is going on with my Wi-Fi connection. Keeps dropping off, unfortunately. I don't know why. Oh, I hope it doesn't do it again. If it does this again, I might have to resort to making a change live <clears throat> on air. So thank you very much for the. Uh, um, for allowing me to play that. That was, of course, uh, the air from the Water Music by Handel. Oh, wow, it's uh, it a beautiful piece, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful piece. It is no wonder that it was, when it was premiered, uh, going down 
what was it? Was it on the Thames? It was uh, played numerous times. I think they, um, I think it was, it went down so well. I just, Im I can't imagine the water music going down the barge on the Thames. Um, the Thames back in back in the 18th century was much wider than it is now, and I, I, obviously far fewer bridges. Were there any bridges? I don't know. Um, but it was far wider. And I just imagine these um, all these brass players and string players um, going down the Thames, sort of bobbing up and down, and people stood on the side listening to this wonderful music floating down. All you can hear now is just car horns, people shouting, um, these electric buses coming zipping past. Um, you can hear anything but music in London, uh, certainly on the Thames. Just imagine, imagine that. It'd be beautiful to go back and experience that. Let's go on to um, another hymn now. Um, what thanks and praise to thee we owe, eternal God and words divine, for Luke thy saint, through whom we know so many gracious words of thine. This has come in from Tristan, who is one of our patrons. Thank you very much, um, Tristan. That's very good of you. Um, it is um, the feast of St Luke today, um, so this is a uh, this is a an appropriate hymn for St Luke. I should also like to say uh, thank you to Thomas, uh, to Tom, who's just um, made a, do a donation in the chat, and I like your smiley face and musical stave. Thank you very much um, for your generosity, Tom. So, with uh, thanks and praise to the UEO. Thank you very much indeed, Tristan, for play, uh, for allowing me to play that. Um, and a quiz question for you guys is, what other words normally go to that tune? <laughs> the next hymn is I, I can't remember. And it's just it's playing on my mind, and I need to, I need to know. Um, the next hymn is, "You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat." Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. This is from Dennis. Thank you very much, Dennis. Um, refrain at the beginning, so definitely is a refrain this time, followed by five verses. Um, not one that I know, so I'm looking forward to getting to know it. Here we go, Dennis. 
you satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Thank you very much, Dennis, for bringing that to my attention. I think that was quite a popular one uh, with you guys, but certainly to me, that was um, it was new. So, thank you very much. Thank you um, also to David for your donation. That's very, very kind indeed. That will go towards um, a much-needed coffee tomorrow, Monday morning. That's very kind. Thank you very much indeed. The next hymn is... All for Jesus, all for Jesus, this our song shall ever be. For we have no hope nor saviour if we have not hope in thee. Uh, Keith and Lorna, um, friends of mine, um, patrons as well, have requested this on behalf of Liz. Liz I mentioned early on, um, who passed away this weekend. So this is in memory of, um, of Liz. So a little poll for you, um, cast your votes, cast your votes, listen very, very carefully. Do you want to hear um, autumn from the four seasons, 
do you want to hear um, Mendelssohn's Wedding March? I mean, why not, frankly? Um, or do you want to hear one of the, the famous trumpet tunes? Take your pick. Actually, let's, let's narrow that down a little bit. Let's go for the, um, oh, I don't know, the Jeremiah Clark trumpet tune. Or would you rather hear? Yeah, one of those three pieces. So Autumn, Vivaldi, Wedding March, Mendelssohn, or Purcell, um, no, it wasn't Purcell, it was a Clark, Trumpet Tune. I'd like to play more organ music today, so cast your votes now. That tune is written by John Stainer and was written especially for his wonderful piece. I, I, I do think it's wonderful, um, his oratorio, The Crucifixion. And it is the final thing in the oratorio. That's how it ends. It ends with that hymn. And the, um, the words immediately before the hymn are, um, and he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. It's very, very poignant to then have just a bit of liturgical space there. Um, and then it goes into that hymn. It's the most wonderful moment when you, you know, that this, it, it's, the passion, it's the end of the passion story. You know, he, 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 he dies, basically. The, the crucifixion doesn't go into the resurrection. Um, but then you have this, this hymn of hope at the end and it's just wonderful with the amen at the end terrific stuff so hope i think liz would have enjoyed that okay keep them keep voting as a lot of you have already i love it when the um the chat goes mad i love um, seeing all of that stream just go crazy it's it's just hilarious it's fantastic uh, holy god we praise thy name lord of all we bow before thee this has come in from mikey who is one of our um, supportive patrons, and we are very, very nearly at, well, we are nearly at 200 patrons, which is just astonishing. Thank you all for your amazing support. 
if we can get to 200 patrons today, I can go to bed a very, very happy man indeed. <laughs> so Mikey is waiting very patiently for his request. Uh, Holy God, we praise thy name. Just a reminder of what those these um, choices are for organ music. Autumn from Four Seasons, The Wedding March from Mendelssohn, and Jeremiah Clark's Trumpet Tune. We'll have a few of these requests, uh, these polls as we go through today, just to um, liven it up a little bit. Apparently a really popular one over in America. It's a wonderful tune. So thank you very much, uh, Mikey, for requesting that. Let's go into the season of harvest for just for a moment. To, to we plough the fields and scatter the good seed on the land, but it is fed and watered by God's almighty hand. This, is, this has, by the, by the sounds of it, been requested twice, actually, 
uh, by Kevin, who is uh, one of our one of our 195 patrons, and uh, David. So a popular hymn by all accounts. So thank you very much for requesting this. I hope um, to play it to your liking. We plough the fields and scatter the good seed on the land. The good little bit of Noel Rawsthorn there. I think you may recognise Noel Rawsthorn's um, last verses now because they are very exciting and they really sort of get everyone in the mood. That's what they're for, to really engage everyone and make everyone sit up straight and think, oh wow, this is exciting. So the clear winner of the, um, the, the international competition which it really was an international competition, uh, is, the, uh, is the trumpet tune by Jeremiah Clark. Um, this is a terrific little piece, and I'll be using the Yon Shamar trumpets. Well, I have to, don't I? Because they're, they're wonderful, they're loud, and I can use a lot of organ underneath it um, without it being drowned out. So, Prince of Denmark's March by Jeremiah Clark, as requested by you guys.
And the bride has just arrived at her place. <laughs> it's um, a, a famous, well, it's a well-known and much used piece for weddings as a bride is walking into the service with her bridal party. It's good because actually you can, you can chop it around and um, you know miss bits out if you need to. If she's a particularly good sprinter and she wants to get it over and done with, or she likes just to take her time down the aisle, you can just chop bits out. A little, little bit like the Canon by uh, Packerbell, you can just chop bits out. Okay, the next thing I'd like to ask you guys um, is just in the chat, just leave um, a country where you are all from, please. I'd love to know where in the world we are today. How far reaching are we? I'm here in the, we both are here in the uh, in the UK. We're in Hampshire. I'd love to know where all of you guys are. So the next hymn we have is an Irish hymn. Um, unfortunately, I'm not, I don't speak um, Gaelic, so I don't have the ability to pronounce this, um, but it is a request from uh, Jerry. Jerry is a very, very supportive patron indeed, and Jerry hopefully, um, in amongst all of the locations around the world, will let us know how to pronounce this and what it's called. So if you, Jerry, if you just write in the chat what it's called. It's from this wonderful hymn book here called The Veritas Hymnal. If you don't have it already, I suggest buying it because it's, um, it's wonderful. It has some wonderful hymns in it, as you'll see. So two verses and Jerry will let us know what it's called. I did say about three minutes ago that this hymn book is full of beautiful hymns, and that was a, an example. Beautiful melody, beautiful harmony, and just beautiful in every way. It's really, really special to hear um, all of your locations. That really is just so, so amazing to, to know that there are people from around the world listening. Just it blows my mind. Thank you very much everyone for tuning in. It does mean a lot. Um, it's also very good to see these uh, congregations, uh, to see you um, growing each week, new subscribers coming to the channel. It's really, really well, special, very special. It's great to have you all here. Please stick around. <laughs> okay, so the next hymn is um, O Love that wilt not let me go. 
There's a lot of T's to get your, um, <laughs> your tongue around there. Oh love, that wilt not let me go. I rest my weary soul in thee. The tune is called St. Margaret, and this is a request from, J from Jay, who is one of our Patreons. Thank you very much, Jay. Four verses um, of, this, of this hymn. It's really interesting that you say the um, the, the organ in, um, Phila in Philadelphia in the um, in the famous shopping mall, the Wanna Maker organ. For those of you people who are listening and watching who aren't organists, it is um, the largest. I think it's the largest organ in the entire world, and it is extraordinary. And it's in a shopping centre. You know, you can buy clothes, you can buy your 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 lunch buy anything you like it's a big shopping center surrounded by this huge organ <laughs> um, I'd love to go and play it and it's interesting that you're saying it sounds a bit like a harmonium is that a compliment or not <laughs> I don't know I'd love to go and play it. a question for you guys um, if you could see me play uh, an organ recital on any organ in the entire world which organ would you like to uh, hear and see on the channel anywhere in the world. I'll open that up. So next hymn is a paraphrase of the Magnificat. It is Tell Out My Soul, The Greatness of the Lord, words by Timothy Dudley Smith. Uh, the tune is called Woodlands. This is terrific. There's four verses um, with the obligatory uh, A, like, almost like a, um, a timpani hitting, um, you know, that, the, the bottom note just before everyone starts singing is a request from Jerry, um, who is over in Ireland. Good to have you with us, Jerry. So, which organ in the world would you like to see on the channel? Any organ, um, I'll leave that to you. Tell out my soul the greatness of the Lord.
So I heard quite a few places being shouted out there. A few of them have, I have actually got footage of me playing there. So three which spring to mind. Um, the first being York Minster. I was one of the organists at York Minster uh, when I was early on in my career. I was the organ scholar at York with Philip Moore and John Scott Whiteley. I did do a bit of recording myself. I was just getting into the recording thing and I did record myself. The only thing I have actually um, uh, on video is me playing a selection of wedding hymns, <laughs> which that could be fun. Um, I did play the organ, of, I did a recital in um, St Paul's Cathedral in London. Uh, I don't have any video footage of that, but I did record the recital. I played the Francis Jackson Takata Chorale and Fugue. I haven't played that on the channel before, but it's a terrific piece. And I also played the Rheinberger Organ Sonata Number no. 8 in E minor. And blimey, it sounded epic on that organ. There aren't any many organs in this country which go as loud as the organ of St Paul's, believe me. Um, and Westminster, sorry, um, Salisbury Cathedral. I have a video of me playing a recital there. I did, I did do a recital there a few years ago, actually fairly recently. Um, so I'll try to get that on my channel. That'll be fun. Okay, next hymn is Sing We the King Who Is Coming to Reign. Glory to Jesus, the Lamb That Was Slain. This is a request from Andantino. Uh, there is a refrain. The refrain is, come let us sing praise to our King. Jesus our King, Jesus our King. This is our song, who to Jesus belong. Glory to Jesus, to Jesus our King. So this is Sing We the the king who is coming to reign, as requested by Andantino.
Thank you very much, Anne, and I'm glad I managed to get the tempo right eventually. <laughs> It's not one that I know, so I wasn't able to hear the tempo of my mind beforehand. Next hymn is one that I do know, and I, I'm, I'll try to get the tempo right on this one. It is Eternal Father, Strong to Save, Whose Arm Doth Bind the Restless Wave. Uh, this is a request from Lisa. Lisa is one of our Patreons. So thank you very much, Lisa, indeed. It was an anniversary yesterday um, of the famous and wonderful composer Herbert Howells. It was the anniversary of his birth. Uh, he was born in uh, 1892. Uh, I'm not quite good enough to work out how old he would be now. 20 uh, plus 12 is 30. Would he be 132? Is that right? I don't know. Um, someone will be able to work it out for me. So Howells um, had his birthday yesterday. Terrific um, composer, a person who holds a very special place in my heart and I would like to play a piece of his. So again I will hand over to you, here are the options for you. Um, so two Rhapsodies, uh, so Rhapsody number one, Rhapsody number three, um, Master Talus's Testament, or what else should we go with, um, a Psalm Prelude, set one number one okay so you have two rhapsodies one and three master tell us his testament and the psalm prelude in uh, d minor set one number one make your requests and the one with the most votes will be played very shortly so eternal father strong to save for lisa one of our patrons
the eternal gifts of Christ the King, the apostles' glorious deeds we sing, and while due hymns of praise we pay, our thankful hearts cast grief away. Thank you very much to Morris, who is another one of our patrons. I love playing these hymns for you, patrons. It's just so wonderful. I feel like I'm giving you something back. Um, this ha this is uh, again for Saint Luke. It is the feast of Saint Luke today. Um, I'm just trying to. I'm just looking through the um, text. To get the the um, verse three is. Twas thus the yearning faith of saints, the unconquered hope that never faints. So five verses. Um, and this is from Morris, one of our patrons. Just to remind you what those Howells pieces were. The two rhapsodies, one and three. Number one is the what this one which starts quietly, big crescendo, ends quietly. Number three is the uh, very dramatic one, starts loud, goes quiet in the middle and ends loud. Uh, Master Tells His Testament is the one in G minor, which is beautiful. And the uh, psalm prelude number one is starts very quiet and mysterious and then crescendos, and then ends very quietly again. So those four pieces, choice is down to you. So, the eternal gifts of Christ the King, the Apostles, glorious deeds we sing for Morris.
Well, despite that being the hymn book upon which I was brought when I was a chorister, um, and every cathedral and every church, well, not every church, but every cathedral where I've worked have used this hymn book, it's the first time that I've ever played that hymn. I've never come across it before. So thank you very much uh, for, for bringing that to our attention, Morris. That's a really, I think it's a harmonised playing song, isn't it? Really wonderful. Okay, so we'll now go into All, pay, uh, all Hail the Power of Jesus' Name uh, to the tune Diadem. Um, this is a request from Roger. Thank you very much, Roger. Um, and I'll make sure the, I'll try to bring out the bass as much as I can. I know you like that. Um, there's only so much I can do on an organ. Um, so leave that to me and I'll see what I can do. So, um, the, 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 the final line, by the way, crown him, crown him, crown him, it, it, it's, it's raucous. Um, and having never heard it sung or played in a real church, um, I can only imagine the, the chaos it would bring. Uh, so, all hail the power of Jesus' name to the tune Diadem for Roger. One of the problems we have is because we did this 12 hour organ marathon last year, we have all the, the piles of music in this room which haven't yet been put away. Um, so we're just trying to find the howls. They'll be hopefully appearing very soon. We'll have another hymn and then we'll hopefully go into uh, howls 
organ piece and a an howls, <coughs> excuse me, a howls hymn as well. The this hymn here is now my tongue, the mystery telling of the glorious body sing, and the blood all price excelling, which the Gentiles lord and king. Thank you very much, Michael, who is one of our patrons, for requesting this. Um, the tune is called Tantum Ergo. Thank you very much, uh, Michael, uh, for requesting that. Just going to have, um, I think the winner of the, the vote was the Psalm Prelude. The Psalm is Psalm 34, verse 6, and the text um, that Howells based this prelude on is, Lo, the poor crieth, and the Lord heareth me, yea, and saveth him out of all all his troubles. So this is the first psalm prelude of six. There are six psalm preludes and Howells, these were published in 1921 and bearing in mind Howells was born in 1892, he wasn't very old when he wrote these. Now what we will do after this piece, this wonderful piece here, we will go straight into um, the wonderful tune called Michael, All My Hope on God is Founded, which is a, a, hymn, a hymn tune written by Howells. 
as well, and we have it a lot on the channel. And I do talk about the story about why it's called Michael and what who Michael is. And for those who who haven't heard it, Michael was um, Herbert's son. Herbert Howells. Herbert was his first name. And and Michael died when he was nine years old. And what I can do is I can put on the screen now a picture um, of Michael and Herbert. And I wonder whether you can tell which one is Michael and which one is Herbert. So Michael died, unfortunately, um, of polio. Um, and it left Herbert absolutely heartbroken, devastated. He wrote, he wrote his music uh, changed um, very dramatically when ha Michael died. Um, it became very dark and, and you know, very poignant. And his um, one of his most powerful pieces of choral music, the Requiem, was written um, and almost inspired by and written for Michael. But Howells didn't publish the Requiem until the late 70s. Um, bearing in mind Howells died, as it says on the screen there, in 1983. So it was published very, very, very late on. He kept it under wraps. It was a very personal thing for Herbert. The tune, All My Hope on God Is Founded, is called Michael. And Michael is on the left-hand side. That is Michael, I guess, when he would have been, I don't know, seven, eight, or nine years old. Herbert is over on the right, um, a very similar age to what Michael was in that picture. I think that's a really wonderful um, collection of pictures there. Herbert is also in the middle um, as a young as a young man. You can see he's actually very handsome. Um, Herbert had um, Graves' disease, and that's why he had to leave Salisbury Cathedral. Um, he had. He, he left because of ill health. So when you when we play, uh, when we have All My Hope on God is Founded um, to the tune Michael, um, that is um, who the hymn tune is named after, Michael's son. So this psalm prelude um, was written um, five years before Michael was born. And it is Psalm Prelude number one, um, set one. And then we'll go straight into All My Hope on God is Founded. And it was, as I said a minute ago, or ten minutes ago or so, it was Howells' birthday yesterday.
I think a composer worth celebrating and I know that you guys um, share your enthusiasm or share my enthusiasm um, with the music Howells wrote. He wrote a lot. Chamber music, piano music, orchestral, there's a lot of stuff that is it's overshadowed by you know the other greats of the 20th century, the Elgars, the Waltons, the Britons, Stanfords and all of that. It's, it's overshadowed a little bit and I must admit I don't know much of his music uh, away from choral and, well, church music. So, happy birthday, Herbert. <laughs> On Jordan's bank, the Baptist's cry announces that the Lord is nigh, awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings from the King of Kings, the wonderful tune for the season of Advent. And this has been requested by John. Thank you very much, John. On Jordan's bank, the Baptists cry. I used to um, um, arrange a service, a, an Advent carol procession service, and that one was always sung during one of the processions. It was always it just felt so appropriate. And Jordan's Bank, the Baptist's cry, announces that the Lord is nigh. Wonderful, wonderful tune. As is this one, Iste Confessor. Actually, uh, those of you who were watching last night in our um, uh, chat, um, an evening with me and thee um, would have heard that I actually wrote an organ piece uh, for my AR or FRCO on a chorale and I couldn't remember at the time what it was and it was actually Iste Confessor. I've just seen that and it reminded me. Um, I'll have to dig that out and play it at some point but I will bury it amongst many other things so you don't know it's me. Lord of our life and God of our salvation, star of our night and hope of every nation. This has come in from Mark, who is one of our patrons. Thank you very much, Mark, indeed. Um, well, there, there is a starred verse in verse 2, but I think, um, I think actually we'll miss verse 2 out, given that um, we are in the last, about to go into the final half hour of um, today's church. The voluntary will be at 8 o'clock or thereabouts. So, Lord of our life and God of our salvation from Mark, who is who is one of our patrons.
Wonderful, wonderful. I just love that key of D minor. I just think that's a wonderful tune. I really, really enjoy that one. Right. My shepherd, you supply my need. Most holy is your name. In pastures fresh, you make me feed beside the living stream. This is a request uh, from Jared, who is one of our patrons. Thank you very much, Jared, indeed. I'd like to know how you are getting on. You know, we have people from around the world today, as we always do. And I'd like to know, how, how are you finding, um, or how is your church coping with um, COVID? Are you able to go to church? Are you able to play? Are you, are you able to sing? Different countries um, are um, responding to it differently than uh, other places. So I'd be really interested to know what your current status is. Here in the UK, it's um, we've actually just got into a three-tier system. So we're not having a, a, a unified lockdown across the whole country those areas in the country which are uh, more affected than other areas are in a higher category if you like and more restrictions are being placed upon them so it really it depends on whereabouts in the country you are luckily down in Hampshire um, we're in a sort of a low tier at the minute but unfortunately those people up north in the north of the country um, North Yorkshire the northwest Lancashire and uh, Humberside um, and further up I'm actually getting a few cases so it's getting a bit a bit um, a bit sad up there so how are you getting on are you able to go to church whilst you're answering that I will play my shepherd you supply my need
Well, thank you very much, Jared, for requesting that. I didn't know that at all. That just strikes me as a sort of a hymn that you might have had uh, during communion, during the Eucharist. Okay, let's go into one of our favourites. This We kicked off our um, top 20 hymns last week with this. It is Ein Festeberg, um, a mighty fortress, a mighty fortress is our God. Um, this is another Lutheran hymn. Uh, in this hymn book, there are only two verses, Rejoice Today with One Accord. But what I will do is, because I enjoy it so much, and I know you enjoy it so much, and I think some... I think the uh, translation, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, has three verses. I might be wrong in that. But anyway, whatever reason, we will have three verses of this. Okay, so let's crack on, shall we? If you'd like me to play a Bach prelude um, just before the end, um, let me know, and I will think of the ones I can play, and we will choose. So is that a yes or a no to a bark prelude, one of the big ones? A mighty fortress is our God for Daniel. Fabulous. Well, that wonderful tune there, um, Martin Luther uh, chorale arranged by Bach. So I think the, um, the, over, the overwhelming answer to my question, would you like some Bach, was yes. Um, so let me give you some options. Um, only the preludes because we're just a little bit short on time. So the preludes in question will be C major 547. Um, we can have the G minor, Fant Fantasia. Um, we can have the A minor, uh, 543. The 
this, get, the, get the harmony right there. Or B minor. That's four. And the fifth one I'll give you um, will be the E, mi e minor. C major, A minor, G minor, B minor, B, mi B minor, and E minor. You've actually got five there to choose from. They're all they're all good. So you could have any any one of those. Okay, so any of those five, get voting as I play this next hymn, and then I'll play it after this hymn. It is just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. And this is from Jane, who is in Kenya. Wow, wonderful to have you with us, Jane. You are very, very welcome indeed. Just as I am, without one plea, while you are all voting for one of those five preludes by Bach. And by the way, you're not allowed to ask for the, the B minor in G minor, <laughs> or the C major in another key. You know, it's it's... The keys are fixed. Well, I think um, it's, it's, it's actually, I'm rather surprised by the, um, the the way the vote is going, actually. I thought it would be another, I don't want to add any any influence at all, but I'm just a little bit surprised. I thought it might have been another um, selection. So I'll give you, just, I'll just give you, I'll give you two more minutes. Um, by the way, the bark isn't the voluntary. You've got an exciting voluntary coming up in about 20 minutes or so. 
and this is just an interlude into it. So keep them coming. Those one of those five pieces. If you haven't voted, um, just um, vote now. Okay. So this is Kofen. How shall I sing that majesty which angels do admire? Wonderful tune. And this is by sorry. This is this has been requested by Richard. Good name. And the music is by Kenneth Naylor. And the words are by John Mason. Well, you have all voted. You have all voted for the A minor. Um, BWV 543. Now, what I will do is, the prelude to this is actually quite short. And perhaps if I had said the fugue as well, you may have voted for something else. <laughs> but what I will do, what I will do actually is um, I will play the prelude, and if you would like the fugue, um, let, let us know in the chat, and Caroline will shout out to me, keep going, or stop, stop. So by the time I get to the end of the prelude, I need you to have said, keep going, or stop, basically. I guess it depends on how well I'm playing it, doesn't it? Um, so this is... Um, the A minor fugue by Bach, BWV five four three.
Well, that was the A minor, B, W, V, uh, five, four, three. Wonderful, wonderful prelude and fugue it is as well. I must admit that is one of my favorites. And there's only actually one that I learnt this uh, this year, 2020, yeah, 2020. I never played it before. So it was one of the most recent additions to the repertoire. Um, a little bit of a hot off the press news flash for you. The, the next Prelude and Fugue to be played on the channel, all being well, if I can play it, is the fantastic Takata and Fugue in F. BWV 540. I think that's right, 540 at F major. So look out for that. Okay, so we'll just have just maybe two more hymns and then we'll go into the final voluntary. You're being spoiled this evening, aren't you? All of your hymns and organ music, where else can you get this on a Sunday? Forget songs of praise. Beauty and sound, virtual church is where you need to be on a Sunday. <laughs> We're going to Jerusalem and did those feats in ancient time, requested by me.
that was the voluntary today. Uh, that was the fanfare by Lemons. <laughs> we got Bobby here, who was um, who was enjoying the voluntary. Can you all see Bobby? Let me just get you comfortable. There we go. Hello. Face that way. Thank you very much for joining us today. I've actually really enjoyed this one. I, I enjoy them all, but I particularly enjoyed this one. Thank you for all engaging in the in the um, in the chat. Thank you for your um, donations in the chat. Thank you for your stickers. I love it when um, you send me those stickers and coffees and stuff like that. It's, it's it makes me laugh. Thank you very much for your um, wit and support over um, over over all these months. I don't know where we are with Patreons now. I hope be, to be able to go to sleep this evening with 200 Patreons. That will just make me sleep easy, knowing that I've got your support and that we can continue this uh, journey together with Caroline as well, uh, helping me out. Terrific request today. Thank you very much indeed. Um, next week, we'll I hope to have the uh, organ demonstration of this very organ. It's the Rotterdam organ. You've heard it many, many times before on the channel and I'm going to demonstrate it to you. That's the plan. Um, it will take me, it, it might be quite a long video because it's quite a, a large organ, isn't it? Um, and then the following week will be the organ recital containing the Healy Willen introduction, Passacaglia and Fugue. Uh, that's a terrific piece. You will really enjoy that. Um, if you haven't already, just go and watch the, the couple of videos I've put online of me learning it. I will also put on a video before the recital, just giving you a bit of context around the piece and um, and just to, just so you can um, come on that journey with me. It's terrific and I want you to understand it and know what's going on as I'm playing it. Um, I think that's all I need to say. Um, thank you for your um, comments on the video last night, our live chat. As I said last night, um, I do like to have feedback on these uh, on these things. Um, so please do offer me your feedback. Um, we'd just like to make things better, what does work and what doesn't work. Um, so please offer us your feedback. Okay, so leave a comment on the video. Um, click like. <laughs> I'm sure most of you have already. And if you haven't, subscribed already, then shame on you, make sure you click that subscribe button. Um, there is a little bell icon next to the subscribe button. You, you may think that's just a, a bit of decoration, but actually it's not. It allows you to get notifications when I put a video online. Without that button clicked, chances are you won't get a notification. So if you click that bell, you will just get a, a ping on your phone and I promise I won't spam you with notifications. I don't put on videos, um, you know, more than once a day. So one notification a day, I'm sure you can live with. Click the bell icon. Well, until next time, I will say cheerio. Um, I will say once again that it has been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Um, you are wonderful, all of you. And I look forward to uh, uh, being live with you next weekend. Uh, Patreons, I will... Uh, get in touch over on patreon.com, our um, sort of website, um, with just a little couple of uh, insights and behind the scenes and a couple of uh, cheeky little pictures as well, which I know you can't wait for. Okay, so I will say it again. Until next time, I will say cheerio. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.